When we think of portraits, we usually think of paintings like these, seated, half body, and with faces. They may not be looking back at us, but at least we can still read their emotions. The woman looks wistful while the former president is pensive. They make us feel intrusive, but this woman seems to be too busy to be aware of our presence. She may not even care. We don't know what she looks like. Is she someone whom our eyes would consider beautiful? Or is she someone who may have less than beautiful looks, but because she knows how to carry herself, it suits beauty? Although wearing just a simple tank top, she looks so fashionable by pairing it with an overflow of maxi skirt. It's like she had the entire roll of floral fabric made into one skirt. She has luscious, wavy shoulder lamp hair that bounces as she moves her head. Her ash blonde highlights add to her fashionista aura. The stray luck would make another woman look messy, but on her it adds to her mysterious appeal. Even without seeing her face, her limbs tell us that she is somebody young given how smooth her arms are. When I first saw Hannah Pacaldo's painting, I thought she was dancing while inebriated. And then I thought she could have stepped on something and she has to lift her massive skirt to see what it was. She could also be looking for something she dropped. But is she really wearing a skirt? This is why we need to take time to view a painting beyond three seconds. If I had walked away in the fourth second, I would not have noticed she's not wearing the skirt at all. She is lifting the fabric, looking or reaching for something underneath it. By the way her hair is all following the pool of gravity, it gives me the impression that whatever it is that she's looking for, it's vital that she finds it. She's also getting impatient. Pacaldo not only gives us a unique portrait that tells us a story without revealing much, but she also celebrates the beauty of flowers without giving us a painting of flowers. The floral patterns are as synthetic as her work, but, but they are not inferior in their beauty and effectiveness to viewers. Pacaldo also makes use of bright colors without being overt about it. Instead of giving us a burst of colors in an abstract painting, she puts them in context with a story. The colors are not haphazard. All the rainbow colors are represented without giving us a cheesy rainbow. Pacaldo also gives us a sense of shape and form with the locks in the hair. They're not flat like Juan Luna's maiden, but just like the great painter who mesmerized us with his clever strokes to give us a sense of creases and folds in the linen curtain, Pacaldo shows us her own mastery in the tank top that folds into layers as she bends. The artist is also telling us that the woman is slim all over. Some women have slim arms, but all the handles are in the belly. We also see folds and shapes in the fabric, but it's hard to determine what is making them underneath. It's a bit lopsided if it was a table. This is what makes Pacaldo's work stand out. At first glance, it's easy to dismiss it as a woman with no face and a massive volume fabric. But when you give it more time to talk to us, we discover stories that a three-second viewing can never give. It is a wonder that Pacaldo is able to give us mystery after mystery in a painting that at first glance seems so straightforward and dramatic. Just like in real life, first impressions can be wrong. Giving paintings more than three seconds of our time is essential. Art is essential. Mm -hmm.